Hey there, so in front of me we have a mini PC that I really wanted to love, but there is one major decision that the manufacturer made that completely ruins this setup. This is the Peladin W04, or I like to call it the WO4, and this little mini PC is packing some hardware that you at this point are probably very familiar with if you've been on this channel for more than really a few months. This is rocking an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U, an absolute staple on this channel. In terms of I.O., it's pretty standard for a lot of mini PCs, though we do get the dual gigabit NICs, but we do sacrifice also some USB 3.0 ports, and instead we end up with 2.0s, because obviously the very limited bandwidth of this APU has to be divided somehow, and they chose the dual NICs to go with. That does make this a pretty solid system for self-hosting, especially when we look at the overall specs. A Ryzen 5 5500U with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD is overall not a bad package at all though nothing remarkable at this point in 2024 Still, overall, I'm a fan of the construction of this system. It has a very retro look to it. It almost looks like it is trying to recreate what old VHS systems really look like, at least from the front, but still a very plasticky construction. One of the best features of this system actually is the fact that it has this magnetic top that is so easy to pop off. The magnets are very, very strong, so it grabs on really easily, but you're able to also pop off the lid extremely easily, and now you have access to the internals and from here you could probably realize what exactly i don't like about this system if you still haven't figured it out it's the fact that it only has one stick of ddr4 ram that's right it's 16 gigabytes but it's only one stick and as you can tell by the label on the ram as well as on the ram slot this is how this is meant to be configured this is a 16 gigabyte stick and this is supposed to be a 16 gigabyte model so i didn't take out another stick or anything this is how it came out of the box and this is going to greatly affect its performance in 3d applications and i really just don't see why they decided to do this because this effectively kills this product let me show you what the performance is like in gaming when you have your memory like this the first thing that I ran on here was Tiny Tina's Wonderland, a game that we're very familiar with seeing on this channel, but you should also then be familiar with what the performance of this game is on a chip like the Ryzen 5 5500U, especially since this has a stock TDP of 25 watts. But as you can see here, even with the lowest graphics settings and using FSR at the performance preset, we can't even get a 30 FPS average and our 1% lows are really, really suffering here. This is because of that single channel memory. We effectively halved our memory bandwidth and this pretty much decimated our performance. We're essentially getting half of what we should be getting while trying to game. And yeah, you could buy a second stick and completely improve the experience here but that's an added cost now on top of the system while 32 gigabytes of ram is not a bad combo to have with a 5500u it isn't something that's necessary and 16 gigabytes should be more than enough but not if you're only putting one stick in to really show you just how devastating this is to performance let me show you a title that we've seen run well on practically any system here we have Rainbow Six Siege running with the lowest in-game graphics settings and we are using FSR with the performance presets. So we're really going aggressive here and really our 1% lows and FPS averages are still falling below 60, which is just something that we never see in this title. We'd have to be on an Alder Lake N series processor to really get performance that is below 60. But as you can see here, we're getting that because of the fact that we just are super bandwidth limited. It's actually ridiculous. So even a title like this where even with high settings it could normally give us a high refresh rate experience on most systems like this we can't even get to 60 and this is about as good as it gets gaming with single channel memory the last game we're going to be taking a look at is batman arkham knight running with the lowest in-game graphics settings and again we are seeing abysmal levels of performance in a title that normally with these kinds of graphics settings would give us a really decent level of performance on a chip like this but that that memory configuration there is just no reason for any oem to do this you are hurting your performance 
for no reason you are not even really saving all that much money especially because you make your product now impossible to recommend because even if someone doesn't care about gaming they can just grab a system with a 5500u that has dual channel memory for pretty much the same price but they'll have more consistent performance if they ever need to use 3d graphics i'm legitimately baffled why paladin would actually end up doing this so far at least the other mini pc that i've taken a look at for them actually was really well built it was one of my favorite systems that i took a look at just because of the construction being all metal and it is still one of the nicer feeling mini pcs that i've taken a look at and i think that if this model right here was with dual channel memory it would be a lot easier to recommend it's not perfect i mean the 5500u at this point is just really getting up there in age but at the end of the day the things that it's competing against is things that are at a similar le level of performance and in that case it can be pretty competitive if it had that dual channel memory and well even like this even if it, in its gimp state it actually is still a better option than any Intel N100 or N95 or N97 system if you're looking to get something that's going to last you more than a few years, especially with the decommissioning of Windows 10. And considering that this still has higher single core and multi-thread performance than that series you can make an argument there but it all falls apart when you realize that there are other systems with the 5500u at a similar price that have dual channel memory i've had this system around for a little while now and i don't know if peladin has actually changed how they configure their memory but if they're still out here putting single channel memory in here just that single stick configuration they are hurting their performance for no reason whatsoever i want to like this system because again i still have a soft spot for the 5500u it's just so easy to pick up, give to somebody, and they're going to have a decent time. They're never going to run into anything where, oh, they don't have enough CPU cores to handle whatever random program they decide to just use. Because that's really the main problem with using something like the N100 and N95 on a daily basis. Is you never know when someone's going to decide that they want to learn how to do Photoshop. That they want to learn how to mess around with Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or any kind of these applications that can be pretty demanding, especially on just a quad-core system with no hyper-threading whatsoever. And while they won't be the fastest thing ever in something like Pre Premiere or Resolve or anything like that, the 5500U is still more capable of doing any of that than any N-series processor. This just needs that dual-channel memory. Of course, the dual Ethernet Nix does make this also an interesting option if you want to do any kind of home labbing, but again, the single channel memory is such a killer there. But if you were looking to pick up a system and set up a server, it is also pretty easy to pick up another 16 gigabyte stick and slap it in there. One of the benefits with laptops is the fact, or rather laptop parts, is that with soda memory, it all runs at JDEC speed anyway. As long as you can match the stock JDEC timings that the memory has, you're usually good. There are certain sub-timing things that will be different, but a lot of the times at this performance level, it really won't make any kind of measurable difference. It's one of those things where we're familiar with the 5500U, so I don't want to delve too much in terms of the performance because that just seems a little extremely redundant. But this is a different case in that since we have that single channel memory, it really drags down the overall experience because everything else it actually does really well it's a very quiet system very efficient and very easy to expand on but the problem is you're going to need to expand that ram if you get this system so i hope that peladin could actually fix this and that they're currently shipping models actually do come with dual channel memory because if not then they really shot themselves in the foot for making a otherwise pretty solid system into just something not worth buying but anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one